Let's tackle the question. We know a reporting trip like this comes with an environmental cost. It's amazing. Four people on a Verify road trip, round trip flights from DFW to Alaska. Five days seeing the impact of climate change up close. A hundred years ago, it was about a, a seven mile long glacier. Now it's about a four mile long glacier. But by traveling, aren't we adding to the problem? This is an example of, of, of what to expect. We did this trip because we believe it's important. And yes, there is an impact. Each one of our flights created more than a ton of carbon dioxide emissions per person. It's actually printed right there on the ticket. And to help offset that impact, we're using carbon credits. World's best carbon offset projects on our Marissa de Belois is the CEO of Cool Effect, a nonprofit that helps you reduce carbon emissions to make up for your own. And you can rest assured that you're not having a, a bad influence on the planet. When you buy a carbon credit, it offsets one ton of carbon emissions. And this is how they do it, with projects like clean cook stoves in Honduras. They now have an efficient cook stove that pumps the smoke out of the home and also burns half the wood. Not all carbon credits cost the same. You can choose which project you want to support, but they're not as expensive as you might think. It can cost anything from about um, 4 or $5 a ton to about $13, $14 a ton. Global air travel does have a significant environmental impact. There's a growing movement called flight shaming, discouraging people from taking planes. It's so crazy. <laughs> but some things you need to see in person, and flights are the only feasible way. Our $5,000 donation to Cool Effect is our way of acknowledging that reality and doing our best to reduce our impact.